It's Diane from Coravina. How are you? I hope you're doing well. It's a beautiful day here in Cincinnati. It is warm, but not too stifling. It's awesome. Uh, it is butterfly week here. I just realized I don't have my music on, so it's really thrown me off. Hey, Amy. So it's butterfly week. We are two for two with some really pretty butterfly scarves. That means that I am feeling the pressure <laughs> of having to make a beautiful butterfly scarf. I do know this. I think it's gonna be pretty. I have high hopes, okay? So with that being said, you guys were pretty decisive. Came out 27 to 10. Option number one is what we're doing today. We're doing the soft feminine pinks, grays with a little touch of gold, okay? I think it's gonna be gorgeous. And I am prepared with my paints, but I do not have a big plan going on in my head, which is a little scary. Okay. So I've got a lot of grays, we've got light, medium, and dark gray here for our wings. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Lois. Grandma, I can't, I can't call you Lois. I just can't do it. All right, <laughs> here's some black. And then I've got two pinks. I've got a, a brighter pink and then more of like a dusty gray pink. And then I've got our little tiny bottle of gold. So sometimes the gold does funny things. That's why I don't use metallics a lot, but we're gonna go for it because I think it's really pretty. All right, and then our tried and true white base color. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna clean the surface of my tray and then I'm gonna turn on my music because it's really bothering me <laughs> that it's so quiet, okay? So we're gonna do our first layer of paint straight down the center of the tray. It's time for me to slow down a little bit. All right, there we go. And you know what, I'm gonna put just a little bit more white on it. I'm gonna try and push that white out to the sides. Get it nice and thick. You can see I'm just going anywhere. This early, it doesn't quite matter. where I put the paint, because we're gonna drop so much more paint over top of it, right? All right, so for those of you that are watching for the first time, I'm so glad you're here. We are water marbling today. We are going to water marble a custom scarf while you watch. And it's this gorgeous gray and pink one is what we're working on. And I'm gonna be pretty haphazard with our light gray lines as well. I don't think there's a lot of rhyme or reason in the butterfly wings themselves either. Okay, so got that one. Maybe we'll come in here from the bottom and do another line. And then we've got some dark gray. I'm gonna save on that dark gray. We're gonna leave that here for a sec and we'll come back in and thicken up more white. See if we can thicken up some of this paint a little bit. That one looked good. I am not in love with this other bottle. That kind of spread all over the place. So I'm gonna drop my white over top of it and try and fill in some of that blank space. As we add more paint, it'll fill that up. I don't know what's going on with that paint bottle. Every paint has its own personality. They're all a little bit different. All right, so there we are. So what we're gonna do next is, I think we're gonna add, we're gonna go for the pink. Uh, I'm being indecisive. So the good thing about this water marbling is that it can be any way I want it to be, <laughs> right? That's one of my favorite things about it. You don't have to really have a rhyme or a reason. I just added our gold in. I'm gonna add a little bit more gold, I think. Looking very pretty on here. And I think I'm gonna try and drop the black right here. 
right in between the gold. You'll see in the picture, if you're looking at it, that it looks like the black and the gold are right next to each other and they're really setting each other off. I told somebody in the Facebook group, I'm not sure if this is a real moth or if this is a man-made moth. It's so pretty. It makes me think it was somebody's craft project. In the original picture, I couldn't tell anything about it. All right, so I'm gonna come back and do this gray on top of the black, and then I might hit it up with a little bit more gold. You can see that black spread a lot, and that's okay. And our wing is a little off center, and that's okay too. It's kind of like we go, <laughs> we're like Bob Ross here. If you don't know who Bob Ross is, you need to YouTube him as soon as we're done here. Um, but we are just have happy little accidents. We don't have mistakes. We have <laughs> design decisions and artistic detail. All right, so we're thickening up our gold in here. What is next? What shall we do? I think we're gonna put Concentrating too hard on the picture instead of just going for it. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Okay, so I'm gonna put in my big pink circles. I'm gonna start dropping those in, trying to spread them out a little bit. Concentrating hard, <laughs> so I'm not talking. Sorry, guys. All the colors together I think this was a good choice so then on top of that let's do a little bit of this light gray I'm gonna try and work in bullseyes like we did yesterday but I can tell our paint is starting starting to thicken up so might have to move some stuff around with our tools. All right, so if you're watching this for the first time, welcome to our scarf making group. We are water marbling a silk scarf, like I said, and that involves floating really thin paints onto the surface of really thick water. When we're done, we are going to dip down a white silk scarf onto the surface of this tray and going to come up with an amazing print. So it is Butterfly Week here at Coravina. We try and pick a theme every week so we have something to work on with our pictures. And this week, I think we made a great choice. I think everybody's excited about it, and so am I. So I'm coming in here with our darker gray, and we're dropping in layers. Concentrating very hard. Oh, and I've had a few people ask me about um, buying the scarves lately. Yes, they are all for sale. Um, I have a bunch on my website, which is Coravina, C O R A hyphen Vina, V I N A dot com, and they are for sale. I have a whole backlog of other items I'm trying to get listed. It just takes a long time. Um, so if you see something you want, you can definitely message me about it. If, you, if you're waiting for me to put it up, send me a message and I will get it to you. You will not have to wait on me. Okay, so I'm going to come back through with one more black bullseye right in the middle. And then I think we're going to use our stylus tool to move some paints around. Especially the gold. I really am liking the gold here. And I think we'll drop some gold right into these dark black circles. Guys, my kids aren't here. It's so quiet. Like, I almost don't know what to do. I kind of got to think of my kids are not here. So I can't think of what to do, you know, without that, with all that noise. All right, 
going to come through and I'm going to follow our lines that we made with the gray, black, and gold. And I'm just going to come on back. Kind of, we're very much painting on the surface of our water today. And I'm going to go one more time. Why not? liking this very much. That kind of, that's butterfly-esque. And then I would like to come in here with our lighter gray and just do a couple of drops and thicken up this place. just a little bit. We have reached that point in the scarf show where I am now questioning all of my life choices. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see if this turns out good or not. That's the best thing about this, really. You get to see it no matter what. If it is terrible, you get to see it. If it's gorgeous, you get to see it. You know, fun for everyone except for me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's still much fun for me. All right, guys, so it is the way it is. We're gonna dip it down. We're gonna see if it's awesome or if it is not awesome. You'll see that too. It definitely kind of looks like flowers, doesn't it? It looks like leaves and black and white flowers. All right, let's dip this gorgeous scarf. See how it's gonna look, I can't wait. Okay, guys. I had a really good scarf dipping yesterday. I hope I've got a good one today too. Cross your fingers for me. Here we go. Interesting one for sure. So if you're new, what you just saw is our silk instantly absorbed our pattern. Did you see how quickly it came through the silk? It's so much fun to watch when we have in-person classes. We started doing this when everybody went on lockdown and I didn't have anybody to water marble with and I was very sad. <laughs> so you guys all came to my group and I'm so excited you're here. It's been a really fun experience doing this with you every day. Okay, so you saw the paint instantly absorb into our scarf and now we're ready to pull it off the water so you can see what we ended up with here today. Okay, so let's see what we've got. Mary Alice says her cat is watching very in intensely. Oh, I bet. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Shearing, Mrs. Shearing's on here. Hey, Melinda, I'm so glad you like it. Mary Alice likes it too, oh good. And Lara's down with the butterflies. We might have to have butterflies week too. I don't know. Please. Okay, let's pull it out of the water. Here we go. You're gonna see dripping and running, okay? Ooh, isn't that fun? This is gonna be another one that looks really good on, I bet. I'm so excited. See all that gold detail in there? Love it, love it, love it. So this is Diane from Coravina. Go to Coravina-Vina.com to see the scarves that are for sale. Um, it's butterfly week, so we've got two more days of butterflies, if not more, of beautiful scarves we're gonna make. So I hope that you are having a really good day wherever you are. I hope you have a joy, something fun to do. And I'll be back here, I'll be here tomorrow live at five. Bye, do drops, live color please.